Okay. Welcome back to Ever Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Ever Disney Movie Ever today. I'm going to talk about Rock and Roll Mom. Rock and Roll Mom is a 1988 magical Walter Disney television release. It is directed by Michael Schultz, cinematography by Isadora Mankowski, editing by Conrad M. Gonzalez, music by Lee Rittenauer, and it's written by Jen Leroy. Michael Schultz is best known for Cooley High, Car Wash, Crush Groove, and The Last Dragon. Isadora Mankowski I covered in the video about Little Spies. The link will be in the description. Conrad M. Gonzalez is best known for The Last Starfighter, The Sopranos, Conan the Barbarian, and Friday Night Lights. Lee Rittenauer is best known for Tequila Sunrise, Pink Floyd, The Wall, An Officer and a Gentleman, and The Fabulous Baker Boys. Jen Lee Riot covered in the video about The Leftovers. The link will be in the description. The film stars Diane Cannon, Michael Brandon, Telma Hopkins, Nancy Lenahan, Amy Lynn, and Josh Blake. Diane Cannon plays Annie Hackett, and is best known for Heaven Can Wait, Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice, Death Trap, and The Last of Shayla. Michael Brandon plays Jeff Robinson, and is best known for episodes Captain America the First Avenger, Four Flies on Grey Velvet, and Gallivant. Telma Hopkins plays Etta, and is best known for The Love Guru, Family Matters, Half and Half, and Transfers 2. Nancy Lenahan plays Connie, and she's best known for Catch Me If You Can, Sex Tape, The Great Outdoors, and Human Nature. Amy Lynn plays Emma, and is best known for Portrait of a White Marriage, Some Kind of Wonderful, New Love American Style, and ABC After School Specials. Josh Blake plays Nikki, and is best known for Alf, Psychonauts, Once a Hero, and Full House. If you're wondering from when you saw the picture over my face when I introduced the film, in Britain the film was called Rock and Roll Mum, and apparently that is the version I had access to watch, so it said rock and roll mom instead of mom. The film is about a mom who becomes a rock star, but when her label tries to make her lie about her life, things go astray. It was a fun movie. I had a good time. It had a lot of cheesy moments, but for the most part, it was really fun. I don't really have much to say other than there were a lot of shots of the mom shaking her butt. Like, close up on her butt, which I just thought was weird. But the music was really good, it was very 80s, and the singing at the end, if that, if Diane Cannon was really singing, her voice is insane. Some of the notes that woman was hitting at the end of the movie was out of this world. And it ends really, really cheesy, but it was still adorable. So I think I'll probably just give it like a six six rock stars out of 10. Our total movie count is Paired Death Toll and Crack Connors are the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching, you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and show you are so you do. And don't be Darcy or her manager about it. Dang a langer. <laughs>